what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here i'm empress gem i drop the jewels this will be the february energy read for our aquarius for the year 2021 aquarius happy birthday we are going into mercury retrograde in your season woohoo i mean pretty good though right but um, guys, yeah, general messages here. Take what's for you, leave the rest behind. Any event, continue to show your good out, love, and support with those likes, comments, shares, and subscriptions. So we're going to get straight into it. All right, Aquarius. So what I see is definitely you guys need to wait, okay? You need to have patience. I feel like at this time, you need to reflect on what it is that you want for yourself here. Okay. Spirit, we thank you as we open up for our Aquarius. What are the messages we have here for our Aquarius? Um, be mindful of the people that you meet because I feel like you're going to meet some folks who are going to help you achieve your goals this month. So relax and rest it out. Yes. Well, ideal partnerships coming out. Worthiness. I did get that sense too for you guys that some of you guys probably could have had a fallout. Or you probably could have received like some, you had an eye-opening experience. Um, this is the second time I'm doing your reading, by the way. So, <laughs> but um, in the first reading, it pretty much, it was like you guys were like in a dark night of the soul for a lot of you guys. But I feel that um, pretty much it was like you needed to boost your confidence. And I feel that you need to be mindful of the people who are trying to enter your life, especially with this ideal partnerships. I'm a rare and precious find, and my balance will be reflected back to me when I appear with a true match. My ideal partnerships and work relationships are easy and free-flowing. I deserve greatness because I am greatness. And to paraphrase Rumi, what I am looking for is also looking for me. In fact, he or she might be paraphrasing Rumi right now. Hmm. So exactly. I feel like, you know, you guys are coming out of connections from people who... Are no longer on the same vibration with you and that's cool okay um for some of you guys it's like uh you can love somebody from a distance okay and everything will be okay um it's cool to be friends okay it's cool to let go it's cool to start over when one door closes another one will open all right so let's see our stone for this month our Aquarius is <laughs> Rotocrocite, hmm. Roto Rotocrocite, R-H-O-D-O-C-H-R-O-S-I-T-E, if you are interested, let's see, okay, and this is pretty much saying that you need to soften your heart, and this is for anyone who is grieving a major loss, a relationship that may have expired, or an I outdated idea of yourself where do you put this against your chest while you breathe through your heart or slide a favorite piece into your bra you know if you're wearing one that is and when do you use it when your heart hurts you can feel all the feels even the most painful and still be gentle with yourself let this stone remind you that this too shall pass and you especially you absolutely will heal and love again when you are ready okay so, yeah, soften your heart here underneath the deck. Slow your roll. Like I said, the energy of needing to rest here, guys, okay? Don't try to push yourself ahead trying to drown out whatever it is that has happened to you, okay? Take your time here. Yeah, definitely thinking of someone from your past, okay? Like I said, some truths could have been spoken in which now you guys have decided to move on from one another. And again, this also could be a job. Okay, it could be a friend. But we're going to see here, spirit. Let's get one message out of here. You guys do have a new opportunity for love to come in and possibly rekindling with the past. But there are still some things that need to be discovered from within. So you need to... <laughs> You need to find it within you to rest. We'll take hope, which is your energy here. But again, like I said, the past is really playing on you heavy and heavy in your heart. But again, you have the chance for new love or to rekindle new love with the past. Again, there's the needing to heal here, okay? With your energy showing up, Aquarius. I feel like you have hope in the situation. You have hope that things can get better. I feel that the universe also needs you to have hope that things will get better and see 
yourself for like see the inner strength that you have within yourself understand that you are abundant within your own okay um yeah so let's dive into your spread you guys are at a crossroads needing to pick an action what do you want to do definitely need to make a decision could be dealing with a gemini or an aquarius or a leo i feel like some things like i said have come to light you guys are also seeking wish fulfillment or fulfillment in your lives as well okay yeah this could have been somebody you were married to or somebody you have children with i feel like you know a co-parent type situation. Also feel for some of you guys, you could be getting ready to start on another job. Some of you guys could be getting ready to open up your own business here. Really expand your bag three times the amount here. All right. I feel like some of you guys also could um, be expecting triplets. That is very... Whew. Okay, that was deep. But... um. I do feel like you guys do want to go back and work with someone here in the past. Could be a, a child's parent or a spouse, somebody that you were with, or a business person, somebody who you see elevating. Now, we definitely got the King of Cups showing up with that Six of Cups there. Because you realize that this energy of the past makes you happy. It is your wish fulfillment. You want to reach out to it, but it's like you don't feel like you are good enough, okay? So, Aquarius, let's see. Yeah, it could be definitely dealing with a Gemini here with the lovers coming out first. But this is about you needing to choose between what it is that you want to do. It could be literally between two lovers here. Because we do have ideal partnership and a need to soften up your heart, okay? Um, very loving type energy coming through. But I feel that um, you may have met someone that you really want to be with or you could have really wanted to be with this individual and things probably aren't in the best vibration right now with you guys i feel that um there's a decision that needs to be made of whether or not you want to move forward here yes and be victorious with this energy because um this person could have leo in their chart or could have fire aries leo or sag in their chart or you could be dealing with that as well but I feel that in the past, there was a lot of victory and success here with this energy. It was um, stable, okay? It was something that you really desired. Um, but I just feel like there's, like, some sort of blockage. Um, that, like I said, there could have been some sort of fight here. Somebody could have wanted to move on. Um, yeah. The energy around you here is that Empress coming back out again. Loris, uh, Loris listen to me. Libra and Taurus energy here. But, um, yeah, this person that you want to move towards or the energy that's coming towards you in the future. This could be, you know, you guys opening up your own businesses, starting something new. You embodying this Empress energy yourself here, okay? Um, or you want some of you guys becoming pregnant. I'm here, literally, okay? But, um, like I said, I said the triplets thing. So, if you're doing in vitro, <laughs> you're getting three. <laughs> but, um... Already with these two sixes, somebody you do want to bring back, you want to balance out with someone that you may feel is also your divine counterpart, your soulmate energy here, okay? Um, you could be looking at this person like an empress, or they could be looking at you like you're the empress and somebody wants to come in really hoping that they can repair and heal the situation with you, okay? Aquarius, you are your advice <laughs> to heal, to allow things to heal, okay? I, like I said, things were hot, fiery, desirable, passionate, but there was some sort of conflict that happened here in the past that put a halt to the passion, I feel, okay? But right now, I'm saying that you need to heal. You need to work on yourself because I feel whatever happened, you know, um, I'm feeling like some something petty or not even it may not even been like petty or it's just like the way something came off so that, you know, maybe you wanted to move on. Maybe you wanted this. You could have manifested and wanted, you know, something in your life. And it came about in a way that gave you this victory. But now it's kind of like you're just like, damn, like, what do I do? I mean, this is kind of what you wanted. You can move on and embody this Empress energy here. Or, again, this is energy that is coming towards you in the future this month, okay? You could want to reconnect with 
you know, someone that you were with or finding your actual true soulmate, you know, your true counterpart, your life partner, the one you're supposed to be with. So you're being blocked by someone who is full of passion, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Um, um, again, and there's that confidence, that need to feel that you are good enough as well, okay? You could, you could naturally be blocking yourself, you know, with the need to have that drive, that motivation to move forward again, okay? Hence why your advice is to heal, okay? Pour into yourself and stop trying to pour into everyone else. I'm going to need you to detach, Aquarius, okay? Your outcome is finding balance. Yeah, and I said that that's what this was trying to get. You're trying to get balance, I feel like, with something from the past, okay? So that you can grow on, you know, possibly have a new start and a new beginning with something that was once victorious with you in the past. Again, I feel like you're doing some inner self-reflection here, yeah. Because somebody has walked away emotionally. And that, like I said, like, <laughs> and I was feeling that. And it's like once the emotions were gone, it was just like, oh, you know, you need to detach so that you can see where the true victory lies. Like, but I do see here where you'll be successful because I feel like a lot of you guys will possibly even focus more on your finances and your stability. And you just wasn't really trying to have time for this emotional aspect of things. But I feel like you will also meet people and individuals who will be on the same page as you and who will, who are vibrating as you are so that you can accomplish these goals and these tasks that you want to do. It will take some time. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Listen to me. Mercury retrograde, guys. So bear with me. You guys should know as a fellow air sign. But a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you know, could be taking her time coming in, you know, to help you get through this. Okay. Um, yeah, you do have to see the truth. Like I said, some of you guys are really afraid to put in this work and effort, but you have to make the decision. This is on you. It's on you right now, Aquarius. Balls in your court. Okay. Yeah. Do understand that the efforts that you are putting in are paying off. They're not going unnoticed. And luck is on your side. I can feel that. So, Spirit, as we close out for our court, yes, thank you. What is the message we would have? And it is, it's a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo, okay? So like I said, and I feel more so with, yeah, you and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer. I definitely feel that it's time for you to give more so into yourself. Because as I look at this woman in this car, her eyes are closed. Like she, I just feel like this element of self-love, like she's embracing and embodying her inner beauty, Okay. So definitely, definitely understand that. Take this time to heal and work on you. Everything else will fall into place that is going on around you this month. All right. So yes, Aquarius, that has been your message. I know y'all know what to do with this. If you need to book a reading, all that information is listed below. Until the next time we speak, peace out.